talk about Canadian by coach, you know, we talked before the game that Washington was a little short-handed, but you still had to execute and you started out very strong with 35-18 first quarter. You were able to, and you were able to close it out, even though Bradley Beal was pretty much making everything. Yeah, I actually would have rather seen the other guys there tonight because they would have taken some shots. But with him out, I mean, he was getting the ball every time down and got 37 shots. I mean, that, that's hard, man. That's hard. He played that whole second half and taking that many shots, that was a phenomenal performance. And I mean, we were we were double teaming him off pick and rolls for most of the second half. He was still finding ways to score. I mean, he was, uh, he put on a show tonight for the second night of a back-to-back. -back. I mean, you know, we, we all know he's a, he's a big, big time player and um, he did a hell of a job tonight. He had 50 rebounds, he had 27 assists and 40 six mates, I would think those totals would, would please you. Yeah, listen, I, I thought that um, we played unselfishly uh, tonight, and, and I thought that, uh, you know, Brandon and Zion were both very unselfish tonight. Brandon had eight assists. They were both sharing the ball and helping other people. Uh, I thought that got us going in the first half, especially creating shots for other people. Um, and that's something that, you know, those guys want to do. They want to they wanna help their teammates. I mean, they realize this is about winning. They can put up big numbers, but it's not about numbers. It's about winning. And tonight, I thought they helped their teammates win, and they still put up big numbers. Uh, Stan, Christian Clark here with Noel.com. Uh, Brandon got a 12-3 in that game. What did you think about his uh, willingness and um, aggressiveness? What, what yeah, they decided to go under every pick and roll up top, you know, or most of them. And he took the shots he should take up there. I mean, you know, he's a great shooter. Steven's a great screener. They're going to go under the screen. Why would you do anything else? Um, it was good to see him get him up. Um, and in a lot of ways, you know, that's not as hard on him as having to, you know, attack all the time. And so uh, he got some sort of comfort jumpers there. Um, which was good. What's up, fans? You uh, work from the athletic. Any update on uh, Lonzo and how he's feeling uh, after you know something that he went through? Yeah, I mean they're they're pretty happy with the way he looked after the game. Got treatment during the second half and responding pretty well. We obviously don't don't know the you know the total picture, and they'll look at him again tomorrow. But they they were pretty uh, they were pretty positive about it after the game. It was too bad because he was off to a really good start. I mean, we were, we were plus 23 with him on the court in 15 minutes, and um, he was doing a good job on Beal and allowed us to have multiple guys guard Beal. And then, you know, Bled had to play him the whole second half and get through all those screens and the whole thing. So it was, uh, it was difficult um, when he went out. Hey, it's Dan Scott Fisher with Mo.com. Is it good to see your team? Just answered the bell uh, after such a terrible performance in, in Minnesota, and you know I know you kind of challenged them and, and you had a tough practice to see them come out in the first quarter and show that level of urgency, that level of pace. Did that kind of kind of send a message to you that you know this is going the way that you kind of needed to go? Well, yeah, it, it, but but I'll say, Scott. I mean, our first quarters, if you go through, have been have been good. Um, you know, we had the great first quarter game two in Utah. Even the game one in Utah was a pretty good first quarter. As Minnesota wasn't particularly good, but I believe we led after the first quarter there. I mean, we're first quarters have not been the problem. You know, it, it, it's sustaining a level of play. Um, so I got to look at rotation and how long we leave guys out there. But our team coming ready to play. Um, you guys have watched this all year. I, I would say maybe our biggest positive. I mean, we're, we're ready at the start of games. It's not like these guys are coming out not ready. It really doesn't matter what's happened the game before. They're ready to go. So, I mean, the Clipper game, the Laker game, I mean, you know, like against really good teams, like we're ready to go early. It's being able to sustain, and that's what we've got to work on because there's good play there. Um, in virtually every game. There wasn't a lot of it in the Minnesota game, but 
Other than that, there's been good play against good teams all the time. We just got to do it for longer. That's something we got to figure out. It's, it's just a deal from Bourbon Street shots. Uh, following up on Christian's question about threes, you guys shot 43 total tonight. Is that a product of just what the defense was giving you guys, or has there been a focus on getting more of the shots? A little bit of both. A little bit of both. I mean, I, again, I thought that, you know, Brandon and Zion created a, a good number of those. I'll have to go back through the film and see how many, but a good number of them were created by those two guys. Plus, Brandon got 12 that they, you know, they decided to go under pick and roll. So part of it was taking what they gave us, and part of it was you know, our two best players drawing attention and being willing to make the pass. So I was glad to see guys taking them. We're all set. Thank you, Coach.